Hello. <laughs> Can you guys hear us? Quick sound check, check, check. How about you, Crony? Cronster, want to make a noise? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> guac. Uh, guac. Guac. Hey, uh, hello. <laughs> Crony, your sound is always on point. Oh. How are you doing? <laughs> oh, whew. okay. <laughs> do, do you use the goxler? The goxler? Nah, I use the normal one. Oh my god, you're so pro. What the no, fuck? No. How, how dare you flex on us? <laughs> but I, I love you. I love you anyway, Cronster. Gosh darn it. Oh man. I'm me. looking I'm looking all downtrodden. Let me let me fix that. I'm gonna perk up in just a moment and then we can go to the next scene. Everyone, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. How about you, Cronster? Are you streaming right now? Yeah. Excellent. I'm here. I see your beautiful wine glass raising your glass for this beautiful stream. Yay! Yeah, definitely. Drankies, drankies, because with a title like <laughs> The Insipid Prince's Furtive Grab for the Throne, this is the type of manga that you sit back with a an alcoholic beverage of choice, or if you if you can't drink a nice iced tea or a soda pop, um, take a sip and uh and just watch the chaos unfold i'm extremely excited crony how about you mm, i'm also very excited yes indeed oh man this I'm is gonna drinking. be fun yeah i'm drinking what are you milk. drinking i'm drinking milk <laughs> <laughs> i'm drinking tea <laughs> i'm alternating <laughs> sipping milk in my hood what the <laughs> What the F word is up? This is a sponsored stream, fam. Sponsored by uh, Kadokawa. We are we are looking at some book walker titles today. 
So this stream is sponsored by Kadokawa! Woo! Woo! One of Japan's largest manga publishing companies that has recently started releasing English manga chapter translations almost simultaneously to their serialization in Japan. Their newest manga and light novel lineup includes series such as Higehiro, hope I said that okay, and I'm quitting heroing, in addition to the manga we will be reading today. Yes. <sighs> That was a mouthful, but that was amazing. Thank you. I tried my best to, to rep Katakawa. Thank you so much for sponsoring us today, Katakawa. We really appreciate it. We love doing streams like this, just having fun, reading fun titles together. So thank you for giving us this opportunity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and today, we'll be introducing you the insipid princess Ferda grab for the throne, which also has a light novel adaptation with a combined total of 450,000 ebook and print copies Ooh. sold in Japan. That's right. That's right, That's everyone. Lot. I That's know. And both <laughs> versions are being translated into English and are available to read on multiple ebook stores linked in the description below. What? Craziness. Go check it out, guys. In fact, you can read this with us today. Believe it or not, one of these stores, Bookwalker, which we are using to read this title today, currently happens to be holding a special campaign in which you can read from chapter zero to chapter five, like we will be doing, of this manga for free. <gasps> additionally, additionally, the leftover chapters from chapter six to chapter 20 are also available with a limited time 50% discount until April 3rd, which means it's time for a binge, boys. It's time for a binge. Oh my God, what a deal. <laughs> what a deal. <laughs> Oh, I love the what a deal crony. Goodness gracious. Yeah. I love it. It's, I didn't it's know it amazing. existed. You can use it from now on. But also, what are you waiting for? Check out this campaign <laughs> too by clicking on the link in the description below and support the manga industry by spreading the word about this new and upcoming manga series. You really should though, on the real. We, we joke and we're great spokespeople, but like actually go check it out. Cause this mm. is a great deal. If if you have like, if you're like, hey, what do I do? I've got nothing to do today, which is many people actually this day and age. You really ought to just go give it a try. It's free. Who doesn't love free stuff? Exactly. What what is a better deal than free, crony? Uh, free. Nothing really. Free with eating. Free with nomi hodai. Oh yeah. Free, free with tabe hodai. <laughs> <laughs> ah, free and all you can eat. But you know what? At least we get free. And that's what we're that's what we're excited to announce to you guys today. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you can yes. check out the link in the description. And lastly, if you are new to Bookwalker, this is the kicker, guys. This here's the kicker. Oh, if man. you're new to Bookwalker, new users can also use our coupon codes, Cali and Crony, at the checkout to get around five dollars off your first. Purchase. Get out of here. Oh no, you did not just say that. Get out of town. Get out of town. I couldn't believe it either, Crony. So, so you guys, you deadbeats, you go and use code Crony to support Crony. Um, and, and Crony's cronies can use code Cali to support Cali. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if we want to do a little switcheroo on them. Yeah, we do a little switcheroos here. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm that's right, exactly. So if you guys would like to do that, we would greatly appreciate it because you not only are you supporting us, um, you're you're supporting the manga industry, you're supporting Bookwalker Katakawa who have been so gracious to give us this opportunity. You're supporting me into getting a non-pixelated chair. That would be huge. Gosh, I'd love that. But this is an extra crunchy chair. If you use code Cali to get $5 off of this, this incredible manga purchase, then maybe, just maybe, I can afford uh, a less crunchy chair. Yeah, you can uh, have your grab for the throne. Exactly, a better throne than this <laughs> this really crunchy looking Herman Miller. I don't know why it looks so crunchy, but here we are anyway. <laughs> I can count the pixels. Oh, me too, my friend. But don't keep your eyes there for too long because we got a manga to read today. Oh, I'm so hype, crony, I'm so hype. Me too. Uh, this is gonna be fun. I've been waiting to read manga with you, to be honest. Here's the campaign, you guys. 
check it out right here. The campaign period is running from March 21st, which is four days ago. What are you guys waiting for? All the way to April 3rd. That's the uh -huh. campaign period. And check mm -hmm. this out. What is this I spy with my little eye, crony? What? I spy. I spy a bunch of zeros under these titles. A bunch of zero dollars and zero cents. Zero <laughs> dollars and zero dollars and zero cents. Yup. That's what I'm looking at here. And what is this? Oh, chapter six. Oh man. What? What? Uh, what? Oh my God. Get out of give here. It, give it to us, crony. Give it to us. What? Coin boosts and freeness. Oh my goodness, get out of here. <laughs> I love it, you love to see it. And what is that I see? 86 cents for the rest of it, if you guys like what we read today. It's basically free. At the price of free, what even is that? What, what a deal. What, what a deal. Let me try, Crony, I wanna try. What a deal! <laughs> hey, that's that's actually pretty good. <laughs> I cheated with the Goxler effects, but um. Anyway, you guys, this is the deal that we're promoing today, just for you guys to um to check out. And links are all in the description, as we've mentioned quite a few times before. Let's get to reading, Crony. Shall we start? Yeah, let's just jump right into it. All right, I'm ready. Now, Crony, the way that we wanted to read this actually was by doing, um, switching off every time a new character appears. So for example, say that the prince enters and I start. Mm -hmm. I take the character of the prince. The next character that enters is the butler. Crony, you take the character of the butler. Um, no matter what, if the butler is speaking, you're speaking as the butler. Um, even if you have two lines in a row by a similar character or same characters that you're playing doesn't uh -huh. matter you take those characters just to keep it nice and simple gotcha gotcha cool so good good stuff all right let's see let's start at the beginning a very nice place to start what page are we at i can't hold on let me let me oh. move around oh no spoilers don't look too hard guys <laughs> chapter zero all right. sounds pretty the good end. Chapter zero, great. So let's go to the, let's start at the beginning. A very good place to start. Shall we begin? Yes. The insipid prince's furtive grab for the phone. Woo! <laughs> Insane deals indeed, let's go. <laughs> All right. Now let's let fate decide who we play, crony. Okay. I'm excited. All right. Narrator. Somewhat, question mark. Person who reads the text in the blocks looks like it's gonna be me. <clears throat> Imperial capital worth Adrasia Empire. Um. Oh! <gasps> oh my gosh, a cute girl voice. <clears throat> Here's an edgy dude. Get a load of that. Zoo. Adventurers Zoo. Guild. <laughs> you can you can do the sound effects, crony. Zoo, zoo, uh, zoo. <laughs> uh, zoo, zoo. All right, here we go. And I believe we are reading right to left. Right to left. All right. Yes. Let's see. That's a king minotaur horn. Whoa, it's a real deal. Is he for real? That's a triple A class rare monster, right? Zoo, zoo. <laughs> Did he defeat it all on his own? Uh, thanks for your help on this one, Master Silver. Here's a reward for this mission. Ja oh my god. Ah, Karoni is so cute. I, can't, I need to <laughs> stop. I can't read the manga like this with you being such a good voice actor. No, no. <laughs> okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <clears throat> Ahem. <clears throat> Thank you. As usual, I'm in your debt. Gori. Uh, not at all. You're the one helping us out here. Do I keep- okay. Yeah. Master Silver, you are but one of five SS-class adventurers on this continent. We are proud that you are a part of to our humble Imperial Capital Branch. <clears throat> um, Master Silver? What are these golds for? <clears throat> a treat for everyone currently present. Have a drink on me. 
<laughs> That's the voice now. Uh, Done several octaves. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, still me. <laughs> still me. <laughs> <laughs> All I ask in return is that when you receive requests of extreme difficulty, you prioritize sending them my way first. Oh, a treat. Oh, certainly. <laughs> I can do that. Oh, man. And he opens the door. He. <coughs> I am an adventurer who accepts only the most difficult of requests. That is why I am generally the first person asked by the guild to handle them when they do come in. However, there are some adventurers who don't appreciate that. That's why it's berry, it's, it's berry, very berry, <laughs> berries and cream, berries and cream. I'm a big lad who loves berries and cream. That's why it's very important to diffuse situations like that one back there. What an edgelord supreme, I love him. Oh, yeah, so wow. my type. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah. Huge masked dude. Yeah. Chuny vibes. Chuny vibes indeed. I have a I have a group of friends who love masked dudes. But like there's like this thing of like if you take off the mask, then the magic is ruined, which is what we're about to see unfold right here. <laughs> So, for example, my group of friends would be super into this manga until about this page. But you know what? Could be nice. Could 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 change their hearts. Who could say? Exactly. You never know. You never know. Hmm. All right. He lifts the mask. <clears throat> my identity prevents me from moving around freely. Sh should I do the unmasked one or... Oh, no. oh, good. Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Closer, I want to hear you do the unmasked oh, prince, wait, and I'll you. be the I'll be the edgy I'll be the edgy Chunibyo one with like the dark, dark, deep voice. Yeah, you do this one. Okay. Uh, wait. Let me just. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> Wait, oh, maybe I should do the box, okay. okay. I I may not be the perfect example. Oh boy, he's so fucking okay, extra. <laughs> but if the people were to find out that an Imperial Prince was an adventurer, we would have a massive scandal on our hands. Arnold Lakes Adler! Seventh Imperial Prince, the address Empire! Oh, I get to be the butler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I get to be the butler. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. If you are aware of it, then please consider your own position and actions, Your Highness Arnold. And <clears throat> I've told you countless times to stop showing up unannounced, Sebus. Ooh, sea bass. Sabers. Seb. Mm. Seb. I like Sebus. That's good. Sebus. Sea bass is the obvious one. <laughs> sea bass. Sebus. Sebus. Anyone call their Sebastian friend Sebus? Yo, That's Sebus. So funny. What up? <laughs> hey, Sebus. Let's hang out after school. Yo, Sebus. What's <laughs> up? Oh my goodness. Cool nickname though. Yeah, I likes it. Oh yeah, like <clears throat> likey. <clears throat> It's a habit of mine, so please have mercy on me, your highness. Oh. <laughs> he sounds so... Ah, <laughs> uh, that's amazing. <clears throat> I don't want to hear your lectures either. The insipid prince is free to do whatever he wants, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> my man just- my man just called himself stupid. <laughs> and what who Chad? says insipid? Yeah, what the fuck? That's like, weird. damn, vocabulary, like pulling out like the it. fancy stuff. Okay. AP me. <laughs> uh, we have a plot twist here. Yeah. I have a younger twin brother. He's blessed with valor, a sharp mind, and a likable personality. A genius. He can produce top notch results when he puts his mind to it. We have the exact same face, yet. He's the one who's praised for being elegant or refined or whatever. Okay, this is kind of interesting. Yeah. All right. mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Let's he go, has, bring uh, it down. He has no shortage of women lining up to marry him. And while he may be my brother, I find him so aggravating. At the same time, I'm the prince they say lacks driving virility. Everyone says what they want about me, being capable, incompetent prince. As a child, oh. I always wanted to play and have fun. And because I was such a wild child, my private tutors would write me off as hopeless. My reputation soon spread throughout the Imperial Castle, and then to the entire Empire. I was then bestowed a nickname that implied my younger brother and sucked away all of my redeeming qualities. The oh. Insipid Prince. Da da da! Da da da! <gasps> oh my god, what a tragic story! It is. Aww. Feel bad for him. Shit. Grab the, grab the throne, even if it's furative, my man. Yeah, just take or share the throne. Yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of hard to fit both of your both of your, your your butts on it, but you can try. I'd be a little uncomfortable, but I mean, you best. can do it like king style, you know, share yeah. the throne, like you know, sit on each other's lap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good idea, good idea. The crony, crony, crony knows what she's talking about. That's a good idea. <laughs> okay. And you guys got snacks? I got snacks, by the way. <laughs> Always should have some snacks for manga reading. I ordered, mm. I ordered um, a sandwich. It's gonna, <gasps> it's gonna come in a few hours though. <laughs> in a few hours. Ah <laughs> uh, yes, my scheduled sandwich. My my scheduled sandwich, please. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking ahead, crony. Yeah. Okay. Um. Uh, even now, every single person in the castle looks at me with disdain as they continue to mock me behind my back. No one expects me to make anything out of myself. And while I may be royalty, I'm on the lowest rung of the ladder. That is who I am as a prince. Mm. There's no need for you to pay mind, narrow-minded people. No one understands how great you truly are, your highness. I'm not worried about them. That's just how everyone treats me. Not like they have any reason or right to tell me what my duty as a prince is anyway. Well, I do understand what you're saying, but we currently aren't in a situation where you can freely express such words. You must return to the castle at once. General Dominic has passed away. Oh, the old general finally has. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> I was like, where is that line? <laughs> no, I was just, I was freestyling for the for Alfred. You're you're a natural. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Meng. I love improv. Oh man, um, he he was a revered general of the Empire's garrison. He fought on the front lines for more than fifty years. Once he finally did retire, he was regarded as a trustworthy advisor. The general did suffer from an age-related chronic disease, but it wasn't so serious that it would suddenly kill him. Assassination is the only word that comes to mind. <gasps> oh. Ooh. So, one of those three did it. The details surrounding his passing are unknown. However, I'm certain that the criminal will not be sought after. He had an outspoken demeanor. Which made him easy. Be, 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 be Justin Bieber, which made it easy for him to make enemies. So if he was assassinated, then that would have been a primary factor. General Dominic had recently meddled in the ongoing conflict for the throne. He had always been one to criticize the princes and princesses, but then he began to support one of the princes he liked. There were those who Whoa. regarded that as dangerous. In other words, he was murdered by one of the forerunners in conflict for the throne. I think that this is you, but I'm taking it over as the butler because Alfred fucking rules. Oh, I'm yeah. certain that that's what happened. Dozo. Aha! Of course. A revered general like him posed no real threat to the Empire. His death will be blamed on his disease, and the, fear and the affair will be closed. The only one to suffer will be the prince who lost an ally. That prince's name is... <gasps> What's his name? What's his name? John <gasps> Cena! No. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Not, not sponsored. Not sponsored. It is yeah, sponsored, yeah, yeah. but not by him. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <gasps> Leonard Lakes Adler, eighth Imperial <gasps> Prince. He's my younger twin brother. He looks evil. Yeah, there's something weird about him. He looks like one of those soft boys that would typically have white hair and die in an anime, but like, <laughs> but like he this like is secretly a little dark and edgy and evil. Yeah, yeah. I feel like he's gonna change face real yeah. soon. Yeah, with like that wispy laugh, like ah ha ha ha, and then like he like looks innocent, but then he's fucked up in the head. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay, uh, oh. I I wonder if Leo is able to make allies on his own. I doubt he has enough influence to ascend the throne by himself. It is an issue precisely because of what transpired. Because what transpired was regarded as influence. It means that His Highness Leonard has been recognized as a threat, quote unquote, for those who wish to ascend the throne. Oh boy, we're about to hear the whole lore. Here we go, Crafter. Let's go. Uh, okay. Currently, the Adresia Empire lost his crown prince three years ago ever since. The Emperor's children have started their own conflict to see who will ascend the throne. The likely candidates- Emperor! <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's go! Let's go! Let's do this! Yo, let's go! I was ready to jump on that no, one. No, jump! Jump right, right. now! Just give me this little triangle, crony. I gotcha. All right, here we go. Here's the pyramid by me. <coughs> Emperor <laughs> Johannes Lakes Adler. Second Imperial Prince, Eric Lakes Adler. Third Imperial <laughs> Prince, Gordon Lakes Adler. Second Imperial Prince, Zandra Lakes Adler. Eighth Imperial Prince, Leonard Lakes Adler. The perfect boy! Fourth Imperial <laughs> Prince, fifth Imperial Prince, bunch of other dudes that we just really can't be, can't, can't just can't give a fuck about. They're like, they're just there, but like, who fucking cares? Abstaining from participating, some princesses and shit, whatever. But the important thing is the Emperor is Johannes <laughs> Lake! <laughs> there you go, Crown Street, you can take it away. This is gonna be a meme. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I get that vibe. <laughs> Uh, oh wait, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, I get it. Um, uh -huh. the, uh, the likely candidates already wield influence. They are the second imperial prince and princess, and the third imperial prince. There is an extremely high chance that one of those three will ascend the throne. It seems that Leo has unwillingly now found himself in fourth place behind those three thanks to his character, which attracts people like General... General Dominic to him. <laughs> I couldn't read that one. Uh, no, Dominic. Dominic. Uh, Dominic. There are two paths for someone other than the three forerunners to ascend the throne. One is to create allies, and the other would be for him to remain neutral. One more path would be to aim for the throne while regarding everyone as a threat. <gasps> Oh my god. My god. Yo. Yo. Sounds complicated. But do your best, Gambate and Sipid Prince. You do sound kind of dumb, but do your best. <laughs> I mean, wait a minute. Actually, though, real talk, with all with all this kind of like stuff that he's saying, he actually doesn't sound super dumb. <laughs> actually sounds kind of smart. <laughs> he sounds smart, but I mean, we'll see since uh, main we'll characters see. tend to be, you know, a little clumsy and do a little yeah. trolling. So. You might be pawn. Yeah. Pom pom. Pom pom. Way way. <laughs> uh, if he takes the latter route and he loses, I already know the other three would have him banished if he was lucky and killed if he wasn't. <gasps> I'm certain that punishment would also extend to those around him. In Leo's case, that would include our mother and myself. Besides, in the unlikely event Leo were to choose this option, I know it would be pointless to try and make allies or announce that he's a neutral party after all of this. I guess we need to make it so Leo becomes the next emperor. 
Is there no path where you would consider becoming the emperor yourself, your highness? Excuse me? <laughs> like I have the character to become an empress? Nuts, man. I'm the man who dumps everything he doesn't want to do on his younger brother. I'm gonna do the exact same thing this time, too. <sighs> I wanted to jet off on a carefree life as an adventurer. Well, I'm not too fond of the idea of dying, so... It's a pain in the neck, but I have no choice. I guess I'll be running things behind the scenes for my younger Oto Oto. Oto Oto. Oh my god. Oto. This is interesting because if he's running the stuff behind the scenes, he, he doesn't sound like the insipid one. It kind of sounds like his, his little bro bro is the dummy if he can't handle it by himself. Yeah, I mean... Shaft head tilt. <laughs> Shaft head tilt. <laughs> I love that. Handsome. What a handsome lad. He seems like a nice guy if he's looking out for, you know, his Little younger bro brother. Bro? Yeah. Can't really fault him for that. We gotta read the next volume, I guess, so... Here we go. Yes. Read the next one, chapter one. Chapter All one. All right. Oh, man. <laughs> Which girl do you like, by the way, if you had to choose? Ooh. Oh, wait. Mm -hmm -hmm. Is the one in the middle a girl, or...? I mean, I'm we'll find sure, out actually. soon. Maybe. Wait, I thought that was the Prince's bro-bro. Oh, bro -bro. Leonard. Leonard? Yeah, Leonard definitely has, like, a... Le Leonard. Leonard. Ooh, Leonard, Leonard sounds like a like a janitor name. So <laughs> uh, anyone named Leonard, I'm sorry. If, if, I don't... It's not that I'm saying you're a janitor. You're probably super cool. Um... Janitors are cool, too. They clean up a lot of stuff and do nice work. I'm going to shut up before I keep digging <laughs> a deeper hole for myself. Um, I don't know. I mean, I That's feel like... That's probably the younger brother. His hair is just nicely kept. That's a little flippy. Yeah. A little flippy. I feel like the pink-haired madame is, like, the slightly tomboyish one. Um, and she's, like, a, a fighter. Yeah. And then I get princessy vibes from... Princessy. <laughs> so you guys love that. You guys make big jokies when I say that word. Um, the blue-eyed girl, I don't know. I, I really like her. She's cute. It's not it's not because of the things that you may think, because I don't really care very much, but I do they're very nice looking. Um Oh I myself would like to have a flat chest, but that doesn't mean that I can't appreciate a lovely physique. She's very pretty, and mm. she's got a cute, nice smile. Um, also, just in general, in terms of characters that I like, um, tomboy girl characters always end up being like my like my favorite as like, oh yeah, I wish we could be like bros or friends, right? But yeah. the, the ones that make my heart doki doki are like the the kind of princessy ones, you know? Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Good taste. <laughs> Me too. Yeah. Or like kind of like on the somewhat girlier side. It's a lot of the reason why my chat beats me up for for personally uh, going for for Aerith over um for over Tifa. Oh, and, wait. Uh, I I like <laughs> Aerith more too though. Really? Yeah. <laughs> He's just so sweet but kind of spunky and just like cute and all. Oh. I love her. Yeah, anyway, she's so cute. Um, yeah, but uh, anyway. Yeah, chat yes. likes to beat me up for that. Anyway, <laughs> let us continue on with reading this. Here we go. It's my time to shine. Castle of the Imperial Soul. Capital Worth. Oh, I guess oh. I'm I'm this I'm this big dum dum dude. He looks like a silly man, mustache man. <clears throat> if it isn't His Highness Prince Arnold. You appear to be in high spirits as usual. Yes, thanks to all of you. I do have to say, I find myself envious. Quite envious of how you spend each and every day in such a carefree state, Prince Arnold. <laughs> Piku. <laughs> Piku. <laughs> how, however... In contrast, it is His Highness Prince Leonard who je je zealous, je peanut butter and jealous, zealously dedicates himself <laughs> to his studies daily. That be because he's made of better stuff than I. Mm -hmm. uh, 
I'll correct you are, your highness. I have heard that your brother is participating in the competition for the throne as well. Well, you mustn't let him outshadow you, Prince Arnold. It's simply too, too cruel to compare two princes. They may be twins, but there is a difference in talent. Oh, sure, that's true. That's very true. Please forgive me. Uh, don't worry about it. It's just a fact, after all. They bow their heads in respect, but I know they're all mocking me. Among <laughs> all of the members of the royal family, I'm the only one who isn't treated as royal. It's not just the countryside nobles who do it either. Every single noble and minister in the imperial castle treats me with deep-seated contempt. <laughs> then again, it's because that's how I behave. <laughs> this fucking guy. <laughs> It is exactly because they don't pay me any mind that I'm able to act around as silver. Silver? The reason why I don't behave differently is because I figure that this is for the best. If I want to do as I please while also being a prince, then my only course of action is to put myself in a position exactly like the one I'm in. Gotcha. I'm coming in. Boom, somebody. <clears throat> this is me. <laughs> I'm your twin. <clears throat> oh, Arnold. Oh, soft boy. Oh. <laughs> I I heard the old man died. I read that it was probably an assassination. No. Oh, yes, I believe that's what happened. What's your next move? I. I don't want to fight with my own flesh and blood. Yeah, I thought you'd say that. I knew that he wouldn't agree with jumping in the race for the throne right away. But if one of the plausible three who are in the running do end up winning, then we face a bleak future. Were Leo and I to abandon our duties as members of the royal family, take our mother and run away, we would be pursued with vigor. I'm certain that even if I were to give it everything I had, it still wouldn't be easy for us to flee. That's why we have but one path we can take. But the problem is, you have now been designated a threat. <gasps> no way, no way! No way, oh my god. I'm scared, brother. I need you. If you don't want to be involved in the battle for the throne, then the only thing waiting for you is death. The same goes for both our mother and me. Uh, yes, you're right. Sorry. Don't apologize to me. Instead, tell me your course of action. <sighs> I have to participate in this battle for the throne. Dun dun. Bum, 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 bum. That's the stuff. This is exactly the reason why everyone wants to help him. I know he would have backed down from this had it only been his problem. He's too soft for someone who'll one day be the emperor, but it's too late to worry about that. Now that the situation's become what it is, you've got to become emperor at all costs. I wield little influence, but I'll help you. You need to start by gathering allies and creating influence for yourself. The greater your influence, the harder it is for others to attack you. Okay, but what about you though? The winner in this battle for the throne will be whoever has the most influence. Those three already wield massive influence and have a wealth of personnel. Leo would be utterly beaten should he try to challenge them with the current influence he wields. Hold on, quick pause. Who is that Megane? Oh, Megane. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Who is look that Megane? Look at that shine. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Hold on a minute. Um, that, that, that question mark. I am looking very close. Mm. I'm looking very close at you. Can we meet sometime <laughs> soon? Oh, no. <laughs> Are you into Megane? 
Uh, I had a Meganade time in my life, but it's kind of starting to come back. Um, <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. Neurons <laughs> activated. Okay. <laughs> Great. Um, <Are> fire <laughs> up. Anyway, continue onward. <laughs> I continue onward, and I'll keep being Ash Ketchum. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Ash Ketchum. I, I, I can't unhear it now. Yeah. Oh. Um, I will search for allies of my own, but please don't expect too much out of me. Generally speaking, all the powerful allies already belong to one of the factions of the three frontrunners. I know that. Thank you, Arnold. Though, I do believe that it is you who would make a better emperor than myself. Don't be ridiculous. You know that if I became the emperor, I wouldn't be able to live my days as I please. I already have a plan for my life. I'm going to marry a beautiful woman and live my life having as much fun as I can. <laughs> Our <laughs> joyous life plan! <laughs> you know, for <laughs> wife's face. <laughs> Ha 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 ha! That's that's something special. <laughs> Woohoo! Oh, Riley well, he enjoys fishing. Hold on a minute. Hey, oh. all right. I love a fisherman. <laughs> I thought I thought your one and only was the Megane. I have a couple one and only. <laughs> In terms, listen. I don't really have a, a type. I just love a bunch of things about humans. And sometimes they activate the neurons. Maybe not all at once at the same time, but you know. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> if they're all fired up at the same time, what happens? Um... I, uh, I combust. Oh, you combust. I cease to exist. Yeah, oh. I just blow up. And uh, black hole forms and all of humanity uh, ends. Oh. Oh, that got a lot more darker than I thought. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you ask. You get Pandora's box open in Kronster. That's what you get. Yeah, damn. Okay. Well, um, combat. Let's, let's not combust. And let's not combust, maybe. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um. Wait. Oh, yeah. That's just another reason why I need you to do whatever it takes to become the Emperor. Pawn. <laughs> oh, 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 he's trembling. I, I guess I can't blame him. The three frontrunners must look like monsters, even to the brilliant Leo. As far as her capability to rule is concerned... <laughs> is he having a seizure? <laughs> oh, whichever becomes emperor, the empire will be stable. But no matter how powerful they are, they're not infallible. It's exactly because the three front runners are in conflict with each other that Leo has chance. For now, let's start by increasing the number of allies we have and getting Father to deem you worthy. Good idea. In the end, it'll be Father who decides who will succeed him. Now then, Basa. Here comes Kiara. <laughs> oh, just kidding. I flew away. <laughs> uh. Let's figure out just how we'll have his highness recognize your worth. And that's how my twin brother and I began our plot to seize the throne for ourselves. Yeah! Budge, budge, budge! Great! Great stuff, Cro crony. You got a great, like, Ikemen, sword swinging, uh, clever plot making boy voice. And you make a pretty smacking like old man voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, old, old yes, my my old man is my specialty. <laughs> Along Sounds with like a he's certain... gonna give me a poison apple. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ooh, come here, Cronster. <laughs> I have something tasty for you. How about a Scooby snack? Oh, would you bro, like bro. a? R roll Raggy, as they say. I heard that you and Shaggy are in a relationship. Oh, God. And, and you and Shrek are in a relationship, I heard? That's correct, actually. That is... Oh. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> How long has it been? Uh, we broke up. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Two seconds ago. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I should not have asked. Um, okay. Don't worry, you're good. <laughs> 
<laughs> You're good. No problem. That's why you're having Scooby Snacks. Exactly. I'm having Scooby Snacks to cope because it reminds me of the, the beautiful love between you and Shaggy. Um, and, uh, and it makes me realize there's hope in this world. Oh, um, I just broke up with him too. Oh no, crony, I'm so sorry. It's okay. Man, I mean, you're really having a hard time these days. No, I'm not having a hard time, actually. I, I really like uh, the single life. It's a, it's a blast. Yeah. So. Well, I'm glad to hear that you're happy with yourself, crony. That's what's most important. Yeah. Actually, That's most important. I was never in a relationship because I have crony. <gasps> <gasps> That's right, you have yourself! Yes. I totally forgot about that. You know what? That's the best. Yes. It's a happy wow. ending. But, uh -huh, chapter two. No Girl, more. I admire you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on to chapter two. Just, I admire you a lot. I admire right. you. Oh, Cronster. I'm glad we're reading this insipid adventure together. Oh, yes. Okay, Return of the Edge Lord. <laughs> I'll do my best. All right, here we go. I'm gonna make it even deeper now, hold on. Oh boy. <laughs> Did you not hear what I said? I am the SS class adventurer, Phil. I'm here to meet with Duke Kleinhart. Yes, I heard you perfectly fine. And I'm telling you, we haven't heard a word from the Adventurers Guild. Enough with the jokes, be on your way now. I don't know, do you really want to say that to a dude with a face like this? Like. Kind it's of a, fucking terrifying. Yeah, it's kind of, uh... It's like, yeah, a little spooky. Yeah, the little mask little is kind of... Spooky. Yeah. Oh, his spooky teeth. Like, he's gonna take a big old bite out of you. <laughs> <laughs> if you doubt who I say I am, then feast your eyes on this. This is a personal identification document created by the guild's own secret. The adventurer card is impossible to reproduce due to... I don't need to see your little card or whatever. Just get out of here already. I'm busy. Shoo shoo. Ah. Duh. How would you like it if I burned you to a crisp? <laughs> a little. Hold on, just a moment. A little while earlier. Go ahead. This is you. Okay. All you girl. Thanks, man. I was discussing my next move with Sebastian. <laughs> what if you were to reveal that you are indeed silver? Absolutely not. Sure, there are benefits to revealing my identity, however. Ever since my grandfather's obsession with ancient magic caused his descent into madness, it's been a taboo among the royal family. The only person who knows that I am silver is Sebastian. I've kept it a secret even from my own little Ototo, Leo. <laughs> Ototo. Ototo. <laughs> the power I command is that very same forbidden ancient magic for Leo, whose goal is to become the new emperor. It'd be bad if he was revealed to have such a twin brother. Mm, however, Silver has both accomplishments and fame to his name. He is also reputed to be one of the greatest adventurers in the history of our empire. Surely he would be a boost to Prince Leo Leonard's position, no? It's too early for that. That move is my last resort, for when I have no other moves to make. The most important thing right now, more than Leo aiming to succeed the throne, is for me to continue this farce as the useless prince. But your highness, this keeps things as easy as possible. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> no, Alfred, no, 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 but I wanted to keep speaking. Shut up. It's Crony's turn. <laughs> this keeps things as easy as possible for me. If that- well, If that oh, is so- <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're even. Now we're even. <laughs> if that is how it is, then I shall not bring it up again. However, what do you plan to do, your highness? If you will not reveal who you are, then there are hardly any other courses of action available to you, it seems. Leo's faction is puny. The quickest way to expand it would be to 
Seb or Sebass. I don't know. Seabass. <laughs> Seabass. Seabass. Are there any dukes or duchesses which have not yet backed a faction in the conflict for the throne? Hmm. There is but one household which has chosen not to get involved. Duke Kleinhart. <laughs> <laughs> that was so good. Mm, a sound clip of that. <laughs> the shocked anime dude voice. Let's go. <laughs> can you do it? Yeah, I can. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> yeah, that's mine. <laughs> So pretty, pretty on point. Thank you. I thought so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's a pretty famous household he just mentioned. Dukes and duchesses, meaning those who have either married into the royal family or is related by blood. For them, this whole conflict for the throne is an extremely important event. Should they do something to indebt the emperor to them, then their reward would also be pretty handsome. That's why each and every family wants some sort of contact with one of the candidates attempting to succeed the throne. However, if they're not doing anything, then is there something that's bothering them? Mm, how observant of you. There appear to be some rather nasty monsters appearing in their domain. They've chosen to rely on adventurers, but it seems they still haven't found the first clue as to how to solve this issue. That would be because the guilds in that this is maybe you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but... I will take it because Alfred <laughs> wants more spotlight. That would be because the guilds in that area aren't high level. Things must be pretty hairy for them. I guess I'll go solve it for them. I do believe that is an excellent proposal, however, how do you plan on drawing a connection between Silver and Prince Leonard? Let's go! <coughs> I just gotta state that Leo asked me to handle it. There'll be no issue as long as I properly explain things to Leo. Well, should word spread that Prince Leonard can get an... <laughs> I thought he said an ass class. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, this is a, it's kind of missed the end there. <laughs> an, an SS class ass adventurer who never leaves the capital. To move at his command, he will surely be under high alert. If that were to happen, it would be no surprise if the connection between Silver and yourself were to be exposed. Oh. <clears throat> It suits me just fine if he's under alert. If people suspect I have some sort of connection to Silver, then no one will try anything careless. All I need to do is take care to ensure people don't discover Silver's true identity. Well, if you are confident in this, then I will not stop you. However, please do not forget that publicly revealing something and being uncovered are as different as heaven and earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> See ya. I'm heading out. You can eat the sweets there, by the way. Oh, for heaven's sake. Oh, uh huh. <laughs> uh, it takes days by carriage to reach Duke Kleinert's domain. But with my transfer magic, I can travel the distance within seconds. I guess I could say that the entirety of the Empire is like my backyard. Though the spell does consume a huge amount of mana so I can't use it too excessively. Arrive in seconds with transfer magic, woohoo! Ooh! Which brings me to my current point of standing outside the Duke's estate. Mmm. But to think I would have to deal with the nightmare of being stopped by some incompetent guard. I warned you that I have come at the behest of Prince Leonard, but it would seem that the prince is too Richard, tell the Duke this. He has disgraced both the Prince and myself. You and I both know I'm not gonna do that, you shady freak. Go on and scram. That's a thing. <laughs> oh, piece of work. I'm pretty mean. Yeah. 
You can take the boxes, since oh, this oh. is his inner thoughts. Oh, yes. Not a voice changer. Oh, yes, I understand. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it could be a labor shortage due to the monster issue. But it's surprising to see someone like this is on guard. The honor of the Kleinert family weeps. It costs three rainbow coins, rainbow coins, to request rainbow. an SS class adventure to subjugate something. That sounds like a gotcha currency. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Get 50 rainbow coins just by logging in today and spinning the wheel of wow. Oh my God, what a deal. What a deal. Uh, oh, hey, it's going to be your time to shine oh, soon. Oh, oh, the graphs. <laughs> Give me the graphs. Uh... They are extremely valuable to the point that commoners never have the chance to see them. I understand that it's difficult for even a duke to ask someone like me to undertake a request like this, but I came here of my own will, only to be turned away without any sort of confirmation. <clears throat> Look at this graph! <laughs> here we go. <clears throat> Imperial currency rank! Number one, I mean, the worst, the, the, the bottom of the barrel, <laughs> bronze coin, copper coin, silver coin, white silver coin, Ooh. gold coin, Ooh. white coin, <gasps> rainbow, rainbow. Yeah, most valuable is the rainbow coin. Nice. See, average commoner monthly income is about seven to eight white silver coins. Mm. I see. I see. So like, like gold coin is like, yeah, white silver coin is. Wait, no, hold on. A copper coin's maybe an Akaspa, perhaps. Seven to eight white silver coins. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Trying oh. to work out the soul system in my mind because you know I collect <laughs> souls via super, so I'm like trying to convert. Conversion is hard though. Yeah, conversion is hard. I I understand. Yeah. Thankfully, we can look at this graph. graph. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. Um, anywho, anywho, uh, you're wasting my time. Get lost. <gasps> This is pretty much entirely this guy's fault, but the rudeness of a vassal is the same as the duke himself being rude to me. I do feel sorry for the duke, but I'll have to put him in a difficult situation. Uh-oh, you done fucked up. Oh, oh, there's a pretty late window. Oh, I think it's the girl on the it's left. The movie lady. Yeah. I mean, yeah. The girl I mean, on the left. yeah. The girl on the left. Sorry, sorry. It, that was just the first thing that stuck out. To she is very lovely. Her eyes are very beautiful too, and the beautiful hair. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, nice how ribbon. Do you get oh man, how do you look like that? Oh boy. Anyway, go on, go on. Sorry. Uh, it's a very nice ribbon. Anyway. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I, 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 you have a nice ribbon too, Crony. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, you're welcome. It's probably about the same size as her ribbon, to be honest. <laughs> For being real. Uh, okay. Uh, I can tell from her appearance that she's not a maid. She must be the daughter of the Kleinert family. That reminds me, Sebastian did say something about her before I came. Your Highness. The daughter of Duke Kleinhart is the well-known Blau Mao. Blau Mao. What a name. Blau Mao. <laughs> Blau Mao. Mm, she is known to be of unparalleled beauty. Please be careful not to let yourself become distracted by her beauty and lose sight of the goal at hand. To... Uh, I mean, sure, she's beautiful, but... That doesn't matter right now. Yeah, what are you Sigma. doing here? Hurry up and leave now. Sigma. Yeah, mm, chat. Sigma male. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm, I guess I can do this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This should be the perfect spot. Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> let the beat drop. My magic. Yeah, let the beat <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Oh, you are back rather quickly. I did what I was supposed to do. Uh, we're making for Duke Kleinert's domain. Make the preparation. Make the preparations now. Oh, goodness, you had a bit of a fumble there. Well, that's fine. No I problem. Just ignore then. it. You're a butler. <laughs> Sebastian. Okay, excuse me. My, I'm so sorry for my rudeness, Your Highness. Is that not what you just did, Your Highness? Uh, Silver did. It. Thank you very much. But mm. the one going now. It's Prince Arnold! <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm gonna corner that duke so that he has no chance but to go cry to Leo. It'll be the exact same as winning him over as an ally. <laughs> an evil smile has broken out of your face, your highness. Yeah, no shit. Alfred G's. Yeah. It's like, the obvious, buddy boy. Yeah, look at that face. I mean, it's quite obvious. Mm. Like, the he he is... Coming out of his <laughs> mouth. <laughs> the pedal pedal. The pedal pedal. Don't even get me started, crony. Just, uh, just don't even get me started. Oh boy. <clears throat> on to chapter three, lads. Here we go. Party on. Party hardy. Party continues. Party hardy. All right. <clears throat> oh, yes. Five days later! S Seabass and I finally arrived at the Kleinart family residence after racing over on horseback. Oh, your highness. It has been too long. It really has to, Kleinart. How long has it been? Oh, this is a new dude. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, I got this. I got this. <clears throat> <clears throat> What should I do? I haven't seen you. Oh, God. <laughs> Hold on, I got this. Elmer, you're well, I haven't, I haven't seen your highness since your 10th birthday. Oh, God. Duke Elmer von Kleinhardt. So let's get you to bed, Duke Elmer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's <go. laughs> Oh, he's really on his last leg here. <laughs> oh, boy. It's been oh, that no. long. <laughs> <laughs> Can't believe oh, he's man. walking still. <laughs> oh, lordy. I have a thread. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah. It's been that long. I guess it's because I almost never leave the Imperial capital. <laughs> Duke Kleinart succeeded his father at a, at a young age and has governed over this domain for a few decades. His mild manner personality has earned him a favorable reputation among both his own people and the nobles. He is also one of the dukes which the current emperor trusts. I hope you'll forgive me for neglecting to stay in contact with the dukes who reside in their own domains. Ooh, don't... Don't be <laughs> absurd, your highness. I am to blame for spending so much time and energy on my... Oh, that I haven't made an appearance in the Imperial Capital. Yeah, he's using all his energy right now. <laughs> it's, it's really all he's got for the day. <laughs> uh, now then, Duke Kleinert. I don't have much time, so please, allow me to get right to the topic at hand. Oh, <laughs> of course, your highness. What brings you to my humble domain on this occasion? Uh, you must be pretty ill-natured fellow to be asking me something like that. I've come for your consideration, of course. My consideration? My younger brother Leonard. Leonard. Whatever his name. Leonard. I don't know, man. Didn't wish for it to come to this, but he has now found himself at the center of the conflict for the throne. Which brings me here to press the matter. Duke Kleinert, if you feel that you owe me a debt of gratitude, then I want you to support Leo 
Da, da, da. <gasps> he went there. Oh, oh girl, he went there. Oh, no, you didn't. No, you didn't. <coughs> oh, oh. Please. Wait just a moment, your highness. What do you mean, debt of gratitude? Don't tell me that you're attempting to be ignorant in an attempt to trick me, Duke Kleinert. You are an individual who has gained the trust of many people, including the Emperor. Leo understood your good intentions, and that's why he moved on your behalf. So, explain to me what sort of motive you had to retaliate in the way that you did. Prince Arnold, I truly do not understand that of which you speak. I beg your pardon, but our entire family, myself included, hasn't done anything to offend His Highness Prince Leonard. What did you just say? Your Highness, it appears that the Duke truly does not know what you speak of. And so, because he doesn't know we forgive him, Leo went and made sure that SS Class Adventure came all the way here for the Duke. Not to mention, Leo's the one in the most trouble of all right now. Now that he's been dragged into the battle for the throne, that's why Silver made the move he did. <laughs> Elmer, please. When, when you say Silver, are you referring to the Silver? That's right. Oh. Leo heard that you were having trouble dealing with monsters in your domain. Elmer, <laughs> Elmer, please. Elmer, Elmer, please live. Elmer. No, no, you can you can keep groaning, but Elmer, please don't die. <laughs> you mean the Kleinster? <laughs> D Duke Kleinhart the Kleinster? Is that oh shoot, Duke Kleinster. Yes, yeah, that Alfred's dude. the butler, the butler of Bat I mean I mean uh Insipid Prince. Oh yes, yes. Wasn't his name Elmer? Arnold. Where did Elmer Arnold. go? Elmer. It might be Elmer. I, I'm not sure. <laughs> I think I missed that. I know that the princess' names are Leonard and and um. Leonard. Boy. Just kidding. It's Arnold. I, insipid boy. Arnold Leonard. Oh wait, I, I lost my track. Therefore, Leo I'll read heard. it again. Yes. Leo heard that you were having trouble dealing with monsters in your domain, so. <laughs> He personally wrote a letter to Silver requesting he come here to your domain, Duke Kleinert. Once Silver heard Leo's request, he said it would be handled with haste. Silver's well versed in ancient magic. I've heard he can even use transfer magic. It is impossible to think that Silver would not come here. Is this true, Your Highness? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Also, the butler's name is Sebastian. I, I, I knew it, but I didn't say. <laughs> It'll see bass. See bass. Are you accusing me of lying? Well, you mustn't get upset, your highness. From the Duke's demeanor, it is quite clear that he is not lying. Perhaps something happened. <coughs> I think the next one's you. But oh, wouldn't it wouldn't it be ideal for us to give the Duke some time to look into this affair? And what are we going to do if he doesn't find anything? Oh, in that case, I believe it would be best to speak with Master Silver directly. I'm certain that he would show himself should you speak the word, Your Highness. <laughs> if Seabass says so, then I'll give you some time. However, if it seems like you're concealing something, I will go ask Silver directly. In the event that I do, and it's found that your side is to be in error, I will make it so that no adventurers cross into your domain ever again. I understand, your highness. I will now immediately begin to gather information from the members of this household. Please wait for my return. But... <laughs> that went well. Miss freaking kid. Oh. <laughs> Look at that dumb little, little smile hand on the face looking cat mouth looking little bitch boy. I'm sorry, <laughs> but like... This, oh my god, I love it.
Oh my gosh. Look at that, look at that <laughs> smug smile. That smug little look, that smirk. Yeah. <clears throat> Edge what Lord. a wicked strategy you've employed. Quite the hoax of a charade, wouldn't you say? Oh, it's the, the shaft. Go oh, the shaft! <laughs> that time spin! Look at this nigga's broken. <laughs> I a love hoax. it. How rude. Someone from this house turned away silver. I didn't create this wound. I'm merely pouring salt into it. <laughs> I don't think that the Duke would have been too shaken by what I said, since I'm not actively involved in the battle for the crown. The issue here is that Silver's involved. He's one of five SS-class adventurers on this continent. Were he to besmirch... Besmirch? Ooh, I, do I love that silver. word. Besmirch. Besmirch Silver. Then surely adventurers would stop coming to this domain. Well, even if you were turned away, you could have snuck in. But you saw a good opportunity and left on purpose, did you not? Not to mention, you have behaved insolently in a way that pushes Prince Leonard's good character into the central focus here. Oh, that being said, I will praise you for your role as a tactician. I think, uh, I mean, uh, Leo is too good of a person. There are a few fish we can survive, which can survive in water that's too clean. There's a need for those who'll muddy the water a bit. If you have determined that is your role in life, then I shall not stop you. Oh, shoot. I mean, if you have determined that is your line. <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, if, you have <laughs> if you have determined that this is your role in life, then I shall not stop you. However, you will be the one to read, but you fucking say so. Gotta know, and it's so could you let go of your soul for me? It's quite daisuke. I'm not asking for much. Do me a favor and die, Gomen. Shitsurashimasu ga shinde kudasai. Kill him with the base. Koro, suno, koto, ga, tano, shi, tihi, bitch. Let's continue. I I needed to hear the old man. <laughs> yeah, I was right. I was like, mm, Callie's good, but let's let, let's make it see best. <laughs> Karaoke, uh, dude. Yeah. You, you should do that at one point. Modern like, day killers really must hate fun. <laughs> <laughs> More often people rocking knives and the, and the knives, the knives and the guns and the knives and the guns. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Man, the kind of sewers. Oh. Hey. I, I needed to hear that. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. I'll be here every weekend. Performing at the open mic. Uh, but, uh, uh <clears throat> it's fine. The only thing necessary right now is Leo's reputation. I don't care how much my own falls. Oh. Oh, I care about it. Your mother and Prince Leonard do too. If, you, if the three of you care, then that's all I need. You, oh, okay. Is this, is this, um... Is this daddy? I, I think... I think it's oh. Duke. Uh, oh, I mean, Duke, Lineheart, it's Dookie. Lineheart. It's Dookie time. <laughs> Never mind. Call him that. <laughs> Hold on. Is One it? sec. You fool of a son! Are you trying to bring down this entire household? <laughs> it seems that the Duke has finished collecting his information. Here we go. I wonder how they're gonna try and explain this. Please allow us to offer our deepest apologies. No, I don't. Become British. <laughs> <laughs> oh, make him make him British. Oh, I have British. a different plan for the British voice. Don't oh. you worry. <laughs> oh God. Uh, I don't necessarily need the apologies, but would you fill me in on the particulars? You know what? Actually, forget it. We're gonna go British. It appears that five days prior to being known as Silver did call upon our house. However, it was my raging idiot of a son who turned him away without checking first. Ha! Get shit on, loser! He's <laughs> <laughs> being <me> rude. <laughs> but, father, do you really believe that it is common for an SS class adventurer to show up at a red. you know, all the residents and stuff <laughs> out of the blue like that? You two would assume he was a swindler. Balance, you fool! 
I cannot believe you couldn't even manage to be a gatekeeper while I was away. Why do I have to gatekeep? I'm a son. But, but you're the one who told me, father. You stated that I was to turn away any person wishing to meet with Finn. I don't recall telling you to turn away any SS class adventurers. You know that all you needed to do was check Master Silver's adventurer card. Why couldn't you do something as simple as that? Well, I... I can tell he's debating about whether, whether or not to lie. Though, to be honest, it's at times like this when it's best to cut your losses and lower your head in apology to minimize the damage. Duke Kleinard. I would like you to handle lecturing your son after we are through here. I hate cool. having to say this, but your son's blunder is also your blunder. Oh my god, ice cold, oh, this dude. Damn. <laughs> I fully understand that. How could you possibly begin to make amends to both of your highness? Make amends? It's not a British accent. I don't know what, <laughs> I don't know what accent that even is. It, it's, it's your own it's distinct it's, it's, accent. It's, it's more... <laughs> it's Kalish. It's Kalish. <laughs> <laughs> it's Scottish, I think, maybe. <laughs> so, sorry. It sounded British. a bit Irish. Uh, apparently. A little Irish in there, yeah. Potion seller. <laughs> potion <laughs> seller. Just sell me the strongest potion. Accent. It's offensive to someone. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think this can still be you because I'm not actually in the mask. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Uh, okay. Um, make amends for turning away an SS class adventurer that. Price dispatched. Silver will likely refuse to further cooperate with us due to his reputation being tarnished like this. In exchange for that, how are you going to compensate us for this? I... I would like to make him answer us by offering up my own head. I don't need your death. And that goes for your incompetent son, too. <laughs> I, I mean, in fairness, I feel like, uh, I feel like his his head's about to fall off anyway, so I mean, it's really quite old. Alright, th this one will be me too. Then allow- hold on one second. Oh, okay. Then allow me to offer up myself! <laughs> oh lordy. I beg for your forgiveness for me father and older brother. Oh boy. <gasps> Romantic eye shot. You love it oh, for sight. Oh, oh, oh. She's here. <laughs> oh, oh, come boy. on. That ribbon's Your not highness. as good as I thought. <laughs> hey, crony. You some shade there? <laughs> no, no. I, no. Oh, she, yeah. She cute, yeah. Oh, Hunta must hunt. pretty wow. cute. She pretty, I like her. I like you, like it. Hello, madame, I like you. <laughs> oh, she's cute. Cute maiden, oh my gosh. I want to give her a hug. Yes. Oh, pretty. Wow. Let's what a see. twist, what a twist. What is she going to do? Why is she, what is she offering? She's offering herself up. The rainbow coins. What is she going to give? Anyway, chapter four. <laughs> four is the best one. <laughs> She's standing on her own boobies here. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> oh, lordy. F hold on. Fine. I just remembered. <gasps> Two years ago, the Emperor ordered all of the artists of the, of the, of the oh, in the empire, <laughs> forget it, uh, to create a hair ornament which resembled a bird. Oh shoot, what? No. And then uh, of all those presented <gasps> was a magnificent blue colored ornament that resembled a seagull, which caught the emperor's eye. Since the emperor was so taken with it, he declared that it would only be fitting to have the most beautiful woman in the entire empire wear it. Thus, all of the beautiful women in the empire gathered in the imperial castle. 
It was there that a girl who was only 14 years old was chosen for her unrivaled beauty. That girl was Duke Kleinert's daughter, Finn. Finne? Finn? Finn? Finne? Finne? Finne von Kleinert? Finne? Von Kleinert? Na, von Kleinert. Now I sound Shrek. Hold on. Uh. She was gifted the blue gall hair ornament, becoming the object of affection of men throughout the empire, who call her the Blau Mau. Oh my gosh, she reminds me of my friend Milky Queen. She looks just like her. She's got like the beautiful long blowing blonde hair and the nice figure and the beautiful blue eyes. I'm oh. singing karaoke with her tonight, by the way, guys. Oh and my god! Real quick, yeah. Anyway, that's who she reminds me of. Um, this is not what she sounds like, though. Um, Milky sounds a bit like this. No, she doesn't. That's a Cockney accent. She 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 sounds <laughs> not like that. But <clears throat> here is my accent for this character. <clears throat> uh, by by the way, I think it's it's gonna be uh, 8 p.m. JST. Continuing onward. <clears throat> I beg your forgiveness for my father and elder brother, your highness. I also witnessed the arrival of Master Silver. If they are guilty, then I am guilty as well. Fine. Oh, I beg. <laughs> oh no! I beg your forgiveness, y your highness. My daughter's still a child. B my little sister has done nothing wrong. I am wholly to blame. Please grant her your mercy. Uh, this is making me out to be the bad guy here. You are the bad guy. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, okay. No DMCA. I only planned on performing some psychological warfare on the Duke, so this is completely unexpected. Your Highness, the Duke and his... Why? Your Highness, the Duke and his family are- uh, oh, uh, The Duke and his family are on their knees, begging for mercy. Surely this should be enough to quell your anger. And what are we to do about Silver? Oh, if you apologize sincerely, I'm certain the Master Silver will be a pr- a ple- a pe- a please- a pleased- a pleased- a please- a praised- a pleased- a peased. Okay, Dr. Seuss. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, even if I were to do that, and Silver were to deal with the issue present in this domain, the fact that we were made a fool of by this household remains unchanged. Mm -hmm. As for that matter, I believe that it would be acceptable for them to negotiate with His Highness Leonard at a later date. There's no point in having them negotiate anything with him. He lets everything slide. Well, people are drawn to him precisely because that is his character. I am aware that your highness is his highness Leonard's older brother, but it is his highness Leonard who is gathering people currently. Even if you are his older brother, if we were to damage the relationship that we have with Duke Kleinhart without telling his highness, then surely his own position would take a turn for the worse. Fine. We'll do as you've proposed, then. Oh my god. Oh lordy. Oh man. Freaking edge lord. I know. He is kind of making a big deal out of nothing, in my opinion. Like, <laughs> like, like big freaking deal. Your dude got turned away at the gate. Like, maybe it's disrespectful, but like their whole family's on their knees. What a manipulative prick. Anyway. Yeah, he's pretty petty. He's got a nice smirk, though. That is true. He does. And a, and a very nice, what is it? Um, a hoge? Ah, yes. The yeah, three, yeah. the three little. Yeah, the little, the little wispy wisps. Yeah. Kind of fun. Looks like a rock star visual K boy. <laughs> but still yeah. mean. Still mean. Yeah, he's a dig. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he's still a dig. Uh, a D. Um,. Duke Kleinert, use your people and search for silver. Once you do, I will be the one to speak with him. Oh, yes, sir, I will do that this instant. You go help them too, Shepish. 
Rubbish. I have found an excellent point of compromise. All that I need to do is solve the problem that this domain faces as silver. And then, the Duke will become one of Leo's allies. I guess I could say that this is a passable step for... Just a passable step forward for starting his day... His day... Starting his foray <laughs> into the battle for the throne. And starting his day into the battle, that would be pretty nice. Yeah, I'd love to start off a day with a battle. Lots of bloodshed, lots Ooh, of death. Yes, right. lots of blood. Mm. 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 Yummy. So I know what. Iron, iron vampire. Punishment. Oh, hey. Yeah, well, you love you love to smell the iron in the morning. Wake up fresh iron in the morning. We sound really fucked up right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, from the Duke's standpoint, he must see me as a small person who swaggers about under borrowed authority from my brother, and that's exactly how I want it to be. At the end of the day, it's Leo who's joining in this conflict for the throne, not me. Excuse me, your highness. Please allow me to accompany you. Oh, oh pretty lady. Aha. Uh -huh. She looks just like Milky here. Oh, pretty lady. Uh, yeah, I've seen your uh, cover with, uh, you know. Oh yeah, Usewa. Usewa, it was so cool. Thank you. I'm glad mm -hmm. you liked it. She's fun. Very cute. Yeah, you guys were really good with that one. Prone star. No, oh, yeah. <laughs> you flatter me. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm glad I'm here with you. Anyway, no. <laughs> I need to take a sip of this here coffee. Stop mm. blushing so much. <laughs> uh. You were still in this domain's capital, huh? This is surprising. Delva! <laughs> <laughs> he just called. <laughs> I don't know who who's saying this, but <laughs> let me just start. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that is because. <clears throat> That is because I summoned that some that someone would eventually I summed I I did math. That is because <laughs> I assumed that someone would eventually be dispatched. Even though, even then, even though, even then though, I never thought that insipid prince himself would come. This is quite unexpected. Of course, he's nothing more than an illusion that I created with magic. I muddled the memories of the innkeeper with some ancient magic. And I made him think that he saw someone come in five days ago in strange garments. Then, <gasps> I had Seabass act as if he'd been discovered. Once it had been reported to me, I met up with Silver. Finne kept insisting on accompanying me. Thus, I'm currently stuck playing both roles. Wow, she must really like his, um, his ahogues. Those little wispy hairs. Just yeah. to follow him so badly. And that little smirk? Yeah, a little smirky smirk. Oh, nice. He really did conjure up silver with some magic, huh? This is kind of spooky. Ooh. Them eyes. Yeah. Oh, I was right. Nice. Okay, yeah, read this next part. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, I made a good choice. By the way, there's no way that she would recognize my voice. Silver's mask is made of silver. Oh wow, what a surprise. Yeah. And it's an extremely powerful magic tool. It doesn't just alter his voice, it even affects his scent and his overall impression. So even if we are concurrently present, pre present, 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 there's no feasible <laughs> way someone would think we were the same person. Yeah. <clears throat> One second, I need to type in the chat because a lot of people are asking what this is. Read the description. Check the link in the description because they, then you can find the manga. Yeah. Check the link in description for the manga and a code. Special free reading deal going on, folks. I should do the same. Yeah. Is that Silver Gunner? No, it's just it's just Silver. Silver Gunner. I love the idea that um, that Arnold is just like, yeah, I've conjured this awesome m magic dude that like his voice sounds completely different. It changes his voice 
and then you just hear him talk and it's just a shitty voice changer. <laughs> like the most like garbled, like sh just shit, just pitch altering voice changer ever. He's like, ha ha ha, I did it. No one will ever know the difference. All right, here we go. <clears throat> well, who's the young lady behind you? This is our first time meeting, Master Silver. My name is Fine von Kleinhardt. My father is currently dealing with a monster issue, so I have come in his stead. Oh. Oh. Mm. It, it, is this me or you? I, I think this it's you. This is our first time meeting? Yeah. Oh, no, you're... So she thinks it's our first time meeting, but you know it's it's not our first time meeting. So maybe I'll do... Let's see. Hold on. Oh, I got it. My deep voice. <laughs> this isn't our first time meeting. We locked eyes just a few days prior. I am deeply sorry for my family's disgrace for lack of manners to you on that day. I don't need your apology. <laughs> your family's reputation is already plummeting across this land. I'd heard that the people of this domain viewed the Duke as a sensible man, but it seems that was nothing more than a rumor. I... It is not rare for adventurers to appear in lands suffering under the threat of monsters. Had he genuinely thought of his people, he should have been prepared to accept all adventurers. The reason your older brother turned me away is because the Duke neglected to do his due diligence. You are quite right. We have failed in that aspect. Uh, I guess it's my turn. Great. I never thought I'd end up doing some... No, oh, no. You got it. You got this. You got this. Let's go. Uh, never thought I'd end up doing some shitty performance and trying to convince myself to do something. I need to show her I've managed to convince an unenthusiastic Silver so that she can run home and tell her father about it all. When she does, it'll be a success. The I prince was, was able to convince us. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. She no, got no, anxious. go, 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 go. The prince was able to convince Master Silver. This is wonderful news. We must pay him. I wasn't planning on having Fine come with me, but this way, I know that the Duke will come to Leo Zane. Mm -hmm. Silver. Are you in any mood to continue this request? If I wasn't, then I wouldn't be here. However, before I do, there is something I must confirm. Have you managed to win over the Duke and his family to your side, insipid prince? Nothing is set in stone. Figures the insipid prince would be vastly inferior to his younger brother after all. It feels strange to have me mock myself. <laughs> I swear that I will get him to cooperate with us. Please do not worry about that. Hmm. Then I wish to have him completely agree to cooperate with me on all fronts. Should he be willing to grant me that, I will fulfill my end of the bargain. I have my own personal reasons for why I must have your brother succeed the throne. The reason why I was willing to go out of my way and leave the capital to come all the way out here was so that the Duke and his family would become allies of His Highness Leonard. With his reputation as it was, then as a debt of gratitude, I would have had him work with the prince with with the with the with the with the with the with the um busting out a rhyme. I'm I'm what's my name? What's my name? I'm Silver, the great mask spooky dude with the shitty voice changer. Changer rhymes with silver. No, it fucking doesn't. By my mixtape, I would need him to write a written oath. Without it, there is a chance that he could betray me. My father would never do something of that nature. It's pointless to protest, Lady Fene. You and your kind have already lost my trust. So unless he swears an oath to- Oh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're really getting into character, though, and that rap? Hot fire. <laughs> That was something, all right. <laughs> um, so, unless he swears an oath to back my brother, you have no interest in helping him? Exactly. Then I will yield that to you. Please, subjugate the monster in question. I swear that the Duke will become Leo's ally. You are telling me to place my trust in the insipid prince? 
You realize how farcical of a demand that is. Of course I do. But still, please. <gasps> I beseech you. <gasps> Prince Arnold! I wonder what Sebus would say if he saw me in this farce right now. Normally, since I don't care about pride, I'll just lower my head to anyone. Not to mention, it doesn't bother me one bit doing so to an illusion that I've created myself. The way you quickly lower your head feels as if you truly do have no pride as a member of royalty. I know that Leo would do the same. I understand that you do not trust me. But even then, I'm still Leo's older brother. I swear I'm able to at least do the minimum. It's finally over. So, please, I ask you to defeat that monster. I don't wish to drag out this issue any longer. Huh. Very well. As an adventurer, I also cannot allow a monster to roam freely like this any further. I accept your request. Master Silver! However... Lady Finay, do not forget that this agreement rests on the willingness of the Duke and his household to cooperate. Th thank you very much. I swear that we'll be able to meet your expectations. <sighs> no! I never want to do that again. Thank you very much. Why are you thanking me? Well, because your highness was willing to lower his head for our sake. You've already suffered so much because of us. I simply must thank you. It was you who was willing to go so far as to convince Master Silver for the sake of our people. It's clear she's drawn a vastly different conclusion from reality. <laughs> she must be like Leo, who sees everything in a good light. I need to fix this quickly. If she mistakes me for a good person, then it'll be difficult for me to move as I please. <laughs> I lowered my head back there for my own sake. It's oh. not what you think, make no mistake. Oh, we've got ourselves a bit of a tsundere now, do we? Well, I know how to deal with this. Excuse me. Okay, I'm so sorry, I went a little bit off the script there. It's just because I like you. But anyway, is that so? Then I shall happily continue to interpret it as a misunderstanding. I was under the false impression that your highness was a terrifying individual. It's evident that that isn't the case. I'm gonna kill- no, I I'm telling you. <laughs> Excuse me? You got something you want to say on me, chat side the family, Martin beat the shit out of you, Will. Oh, nothing. If you'd uh, like to throw us some hands, we can do it. Oh, um... Uh, I, I would, would you like wanna, to go? I don't want to do that to a lady. Well, you and I, I got, I got some, I got some strong fists. Don't, don't let this chest fool you. <laughs> it means that I got myself a strong back and some strong legs for carrying them. Every day, would you like to try? Give me a little punch. Give me right in the face. I'll let you throw the first punch, Crony. Oh, uh, oh, wait, Crony. <laughs> no, it seems like we've, it, it seems like we've broken wait, wait, through the fourth wall. <laughs> We well, broke through the park. I, I don't know. I didn't know we'd be battling together. Oh damn! <laughs> oh no, shit! Uh oh, hold on. Let's back. Let's back ourselves back up into the world real quick. Uh, uh, um, uh, no, no. Uh, um, I'm telling you. Yes, it is my misunderstanding. You lowered your head for your own sake, correct? It, it was. was... Oh, go man. I think that's me. Is it? I oh, think yeah. it's me, but I'm not sure. It was not for the people of our domain, much less for my family's sake. However, would you be willing to permit me this one misunderstanding? Oh, she is so pretty. I knew we were going to get a beautiful splash art of her. I just knew we were. Yeah, look at that. Look at her with the arms placed very firmly to the side. The the carriage windows like a little crown over her head. She looks so sweet. Yeah, and she's like literally shining. Look at his eyes reflecting mm. the light. Whoa, beautiful. She's so party. Party. Oh man. She's uh, melting his icy heart. Yeah, <laughs> mine too. Goodness <laughs> great. Uh in that moment, 
I remembered how my mother once took me outside to see a meteor shower that only occurred once every couple of decades. The shooting stars were just so beautiful as they filled the night sky. I felt the same joy and happiness I'd experienced then. Begin to well up within me right then and there. He's in love. Love. Hi, <laughs> this dick. <laughs> Um, uh, I guess these sorts of misunderstandings aren't so bad from time to time. Oh my gosh, lover boy. Lerba. What a tsundere. 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 He's gonna oh start gosh. knowing what love is. Oh, he saw the universe from her. Oh goodness, <laughs> is that the Tootsie Owl? <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> no, it's Sebastian's chuckle. Come on now, I'm trying to work out on my career as a f actress. <laughs> you sound Sorry. like a kookaburra. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. Thank you for the honest critique, Crony. I appreciate it. I'll, I'll never get better. At <laughs> no, truth. no, no, no. I mean, it, it's good. It's just, it sounds like a for kookaburra. A kookaburra. <laughs> for a kookaburra. No, no, All right, no, I'll keep... It's a kookaburra. A, ku a, ku a kookaburra. I'll keep that in mind. Oh, Mickey Mouse laugh. Anyway, I mean, Michael Moose. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know what that is, that thing that I said before. Anyway, we've got one more chapter left to read. Oh, Me. boy. Oh, um, it looks like our journey with these characters on stream is coming to a close. Um, but we've still got one more chapter to read, so let's give it our all. This is where we give it 100%, Cronester. Let's do yes. it. Yes. Here we Wish go. I could voice a female character soon. The low yeah, voice you, is kind of killing hope, me. I hope that we get the, um, the sword-bearing, like, tomboyish madame, so you can do that character. That would be yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully she appears. All right, let's go. Bam. Hmm. <clears throat> Oh, it's a really terrible out here, isn't it? Duke Kleinhardt has dispatched four B-class and two A-class adventurers, but it seems that the issues persist. Well, of course it would. It's a mother slime. Mother Ooh. slime. Ooh, mother slimes. Oh, damn. Yucky, yucky. Uh... Mother slimes absorb anything and everything, turning it into sustenance. It's a troublesome monster that can give birth to countless slimes. Mm, mommy slimy. <laughs> Mother slime! A. A. <laughs> By the time the Duke made his request with the guild, it was too late. There had already grown to be an army of them. Anyway, we need to defeat this thing fast, or it'll never stop growing. However, adventurers wish to protect the trust others have in them. Even if you are an SS-class adventurer, they won't take kindly to you butting in. Mm, makes sense, especially now that I've accepted this request as silver. The reaction toward you could also end up taking time. Uh, to be honest, we don't have time. Pray that I can get the adventurers to see things my way. Go on back without me, Shepis. I'll handle things. A shump. May Lady Luck smile upon you. Well, well. An SS class adventure went through the trouble of coming all the way out here. Oh no, Crony, you can you can be this fine this fine Madame here if this is <laughs> I, I believe you can use a higher voice for the capped character here. <laughs> I feel bad. You won't are you? Do you want me to take Abel? Please. All right, leave it to me. I got him. <clears throat> the name's Abel. I'm the leader of this party here. I'm an A class adventurer. But I guess I must appear like a pip squeak to you. <laughs> Silver, SS class adventurer. I knew they wouldn't be happy about me being here. We heard from the Duke that you'd be coming as a reinforcement. 
However, as adventurers, we can't just simply agree to those terms and roll over. I think you understand. Of course I do. It's bad manners for an adventurer to butt in on requests that someone else has already undertaken. You understand that too, don't you? It goes without saying. Well, if you do, then why the hell did you come running in to butt into our work? Oh, damn. An adventurer like you surely can't be lacking in the request department. <laughs> why so rude? Mm, I understand your point of view, as well as your resentment. That is why you're free to leave. I will not complain one minute. However, I want to ask you something. Do you think you can handle the situation? <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Whoa. Uh, let's see. Come by there. Uh. Kuderi, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh. The mother slime has grown vastly in size from when we first heard about it. We've tried to take it out countless times, but we're never able to land a fatal blow and have had to retreat. We completely lack the necessary firepower. <gasps> Cute. Hee <laughs> uh, mm hee. -hmm. The other A-class adventurer, a young boy, wait, no, a girl. Could she be here for support? Oh. I don't mind if your wish is for me to stay out of this request. However, I will be reporting the status of this request to the guild's administration office and have them issue an emergency quest. Accepting that request will just end with my return here. If you are able to subjugate this monster in that time, I will not stop you. But during the days that pass till then, the safety of, the, the safety of this land will be greatly threatened. As an adventurer, I cannot allow the damage to spread further than it already has. Fine, man. Whatever. I will admit that we don't have enough power to take it down, so do whatever you want. I'm sorry about this, everyone. If he had been alone, I think that Abel might have forced himself to go on. But I can tell he was thinking about his team members. <laughs> He's a good leader. The damage done is as it is because you are tech. Normally, though, this is a request which should be a party that has members above A class. You've done a good job. I'm certain that the guild will thank you all, too. Ha! <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day when an SS class adventurer praised us. Damn. Please do not think I'm being sarcastic. I do thank you from the bottom of my heart, and I do. If there's something that I can help with. I'd be glad to. Oh, okay. Well, I guess he's not so much of a dick when he's silver, I guess. Yeah. Seems well, nice. What a nice dude. Looks like yeah. he has cat ears, though. Like. Yeah, he's got a little... Oh, my God. You take off the hood, it's a little neckle mimi. <laughs> it's a little neckle mimi beneath the hood right there. So kawaii. You just pull it back a little bit and you see a kitty cat. Oh, your audio's cutting out uh, when you use the voice changer. Oh, apparently. no. Really? Yeah. Damn it. Let's see. It might have something to do with Discord on your side, mm -mm. but I don't know. Let's can see. you? What about Deadbeats? Deadbeats, do you have an issue hearing my voice cut out? I think it might be fine from your side. Let's see. It's not that bad, they say. Sounds fine here. Must be Discord. I think that it might be Discord being unable to like hear the low tone of Silver's voice. That's right. I can ah. fix it. Let me. All right. I, it just means I have to work a bit harder uh, to get a low voice. All right, just leave it to me. I'm going to turn it down a notch. All right, here we go. <coughs> here we go. <coughs> I am one who acts on behalf of divine. I am one who knows the laws of. The hour of judgment is not. Hopefully that didn't cut out too bad. Oh shit, it keeps hey. going, okay. <laughs> The uh, thunder shall tremble and the innocent shall rejoice. The words I speak come forth from the mouth of God. My attack is that of God him. The deadly inferno which gathers in my hands will scorch the heavens. Oh, divine flame. 
Reduced this miscreant to nothingness! EXECUTION! PROMINENCE! Oh, damn. Go, 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 go. Sounds kind of overkill. Yeah, a little bit. Go. Roar! Roar. Roar! Chuny overdose. Yeah, he's kind of... He's really going wild. Why did he do that? Do we know? I don't know, but it's just really overkill. Is it yeah. him trying to show off or? I don't know. It must be because, I mean, he blew in a mountain, but like, was there something on the mountain that they had to like, was it, was there something they had to do? Hold on, I, I'm, hold on. He, Wait. If there's something I can help with, I'd be happy to. He just did it because he wanted to. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> what if there was someone there on that mountain? And there could have been a lot of creatures. And the innocent vice. Oh, the slimes yeah. were there? Gotcha. I see. Oh. oh. <laughs> I, didn't see, I didn't see the. Maybe the slime was on the mountain? Maybe. Okay. Anyway. If that's the case. <laughs> Uh, maybe. But still, but still, blowing away an entire mountain? Like, dude, why can't yeah, you just right. do it one by one? Dude, just hit the slime. Like, just... Yeah, just kill it. Why All blow right. away an entire mountain? You know what? Whatever. My cabbages, oh no, the farmers with the, with the crops and the livestock. <laughs> They're all good now. What if you're doing? Oh, uh, it is what it is. Probably a slime somewhere. Yeah, I mean, it, it works. If it works, it works, I guess. Yeah. He's extra. <laughs> a little bit. Uh, let's yeah, see. Smoldering ashes. Did you read the... He blew oh, yeah. away... <laughs> Seriously? He blew away an entire mountain. So, this is the ancient magic that SS-class adventurers use. <clears throat> there should be no... <clears throat> sorry, sorry. <clears throat> There should be no issue now. Can I rely on you to put in? Uh, you, sh you should go. We didn't do anything. You're the hero who saved the Duke's domain, right? Sorry, but I'm not interested. I have other things to do. I'll leave the rest in your hands. Shoo! Oh. Bye. Uh, this Peace. is the Duke's residence. This room was provided for my personal use. Whew. I will be present with the Duke when he receives report that Silver was the one who defeated the Mother Slime. Mm -hmm. I shall... I, sh I shall back your brother! And then the Duke will commit to helping us and this task will finally be... Huh? <gasps> what? <gasps> Hello, puppy! I shit. I shit. But, but Prince Arnold, did you just, did you just appear in this room? Oh, oh, <laughs> shize. <laughs> oh, um, shize. Uh, I, I was careless. And the way you're dressed, is that not Master Silver's clothing? Oh, existential crisis. Do, do I try to trick her and tell her that my hobby is dressing up like this? No, that won't work. Do I kill her? No, I can't do that either. Offending is the Emperor's favorite. If anything were to happen to her, then I'm sure the Emperor himself would launch an investigation. I know that. I know that would be the prime suspect. The moment that happens, Leo's been in the battle for the throne. This is as good as over. The magic I used on the innkeeper doesn't work on memories that leave a profound impact on someone that it'd be impossible to trick her, and I can't silence her either. I've got nowhere to run! I had some snacks so I came to your room to see if you wanted some. When there was no response, I thought something might have happened to you. Would you like some freshly baked sweets? Uh, sweets. Has something happened to the prince? You know my secret. There's no way you're getting out of here scot-free. I, I swear I won't tell a soul. I won't tell anyone that you're actually Master Silver. You yelled it out just now, though. Ah, oops. Uh, uh. Uh, 
Uh, fear not. I have erected a soundproof barrier. It doesn't matter what you say because no one will hear it. I is that so? Thank you very much. Haven't you thought about <gasps> what I'm about to do to you? He Kabe donned her! Kabe Dawn! Mm, my <gasps> favorite! Oh, oh my god. <gasps> I might harm you in order to shut your mouth. No matter how much you scream, help won't be coming. <laughs> do something to me? Why, that's impossible. Even if you were to do such a thing, I understand that it would simply be because you must. In which case I accept. I don't recall you trusting me that much, though. If you're Master Silver, then I know you've already defeated the monsters, correct? That means that you are the hero who saved our domain. Not to mention you came out as the you came here as you came to with the here with the prince, it's you. <laughs> Fucked up that whole fucking line. <laughs> <laughs> no, not, not to mention, you came as the prince, but put on a very intricate performance. Was that also not for your brother? That is why I can trust you. I do so because I know that someone who would go to all this effort must be a kind person. That was so sweet. Aww. Aww. She's she, a cutie. She sure is a good person to have this much faith in others. Aww. Now that she knows I am Silver, she must also realize, through the series of events involving me, that I caused the Duke to fall so that he would owe me a debt of gratitude. Yet, Fene still chooses to trust me. Yeah, that's nutty. Yeah, that's kind of messed up. Um, <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> trust of that level is something that even I cannot betray. Sebast yeah. is the only person alive who knows my secret. I also know that Sebast would never reveal it. If you ever reveal my secret to others, I will show you no mercy. So, don't go speaking about this to anyone else. Of course, I completely understand. Even if I were to use my magic to make her think that this was all some hallucination, I'm certain that it would backfire. Based on her character, though. It's very difficult to picture Fene letting this out. <laughs> so this is Master Silva's mask. And if she were to reveal it, if I were to employ my toughest measures, I don't think it'd be too late. Uh, I can't believe that my most closely guarded secret was revealed like this. Oh, please cheer up and have some sweets. I'll prepare some black tea. It might just be my imagination. <gasps> that concludes my report on the quest. Job well done! <laughs> I, do <laughs> I do feel awful for asking to undertake such a difficult request. This is a token of my thanks. Please accept it. The original reward posted for the request is good enough. Just as I previously explained, it was Master Silver who guided us to a solution and not my own team. My own pride as an adventurer enabled me to make it this far, so please grant me this humble request. I see! Do you will <laughs> understand! Should I need should I need of your service again? I'm certain to call you. Thank you. I swear to you that we will handle it with our strength alone. Let's see, what is this? Even if I attempt to thank you, your highness, I know it's not enough. You have much most to gratitude. Uh, save your thanks for Leo, and please go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> maybe a bit later. It's almost tea time. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, well... The reason I came here, and the reason why Silver did what he did, is all for Leo's sake. Oh! Yes, your <laughs> highness! Our family will support his highness Prince Leonard on all fronts! You may think of us as his backbone! I'm counting on you. Let us swear that we will make it so Prince Leonard ascends the throne! I feel like he's gonna ascend before then. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, lordy. 
Oh, he loves to hear it. No, he's cool. He's chilling. He's cool. <laughs> yeah, he's he's uh <laughs> counting his days now. <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> uh, <sighs> with this, I'm certain that those still on the fence will be willing to cooperate with Leo. This will lead to this will lead the Emperor to recognize Leo's participation in the battle for the throne. We finally made it to the start line. By the way, your highness. Do you have enough people on your side? Uh, not yet. I like a few more trustworthy people on my side so I can negotiate with the nobles purposefully, waiting for the right moment. I see. Then that does grant me some relief. Would you be willing to allow me to lend just some help? I was thinking asking if I could leave my daughter in your care. <gasps> I too was shocked when Vinay told me yesterday that she wanted to thank the two princes no matter what. I can't believe that an unassertive girl would like her would say something like that. I have to say that I myself was deeply moved. Uh, wait, no. Uh, just a second. Even if you phrase it like that, I... I... She's famous in the Imperial capital. I know that she'll be of help to you. I will admit to that, but are you sure? To be honest, there's an endless number of benefits to having her with me. However, I know that the only reason why she suddenly told her father that she wanted to go to the capital is because she knows who I really she am. She likes me. Oh, just kidding. Or maybe she likes me. <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she likes your ahoge. Yes, and then there's going to be a love triangle with the little tomboy girl. <gasps> oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy, lordy. She'll be able to come into contact with many people in the capital, and there's no telling when or where she could reveal my secret. This is a wish. Please make good use of her. Dude, what the fuck? Hey, <laughs> don't say it like daddy -o. What the fuck? Yeah. I am all father, brother. Understood. Make sure to be of use to the prince. Take care of your health. <sighs> prince Arnold, I'm afraid I may be lacking in abilities, but I look forward to assisting you in any way I can. Are you upset? I'm dumbfounded. We're about to join the battle for the throne. There will be many instances where blood will be shed. If you want to turn back, Now's the time. I am aware of that. Even so, I wish to be of help to you. <laughs> not to mention, is it not more assuring if I'm by your side? This way you're able to keep a closer eye on me now. Uh, no. To be honest, I'd feel a lot more at ease if you'd been a good girl and stayed out here. I wonder if I'll be all right with a girl like this knowing my secret. <laughs> Sorry, I can't, I can't hold back the monkey sometimes. Yay! It's the end of it, guys. We hit chapter five. Yeah, that was really fun. Oh, that was a really fun story to read. Gosh, mm. I can't get over how cute she is. I keep going back to these pages with her. Gosh, she's so pretty. Oh, man. Yeah, like some of those illustrations, I can tell that mm -hmm. they put a lot of effort to making her look angelic. Yeah, she's a total angel and very sweet. And I love, I love sweet girl characters. Me too. I'm not the biggest fan of Tsundere girls, to be honest, but like sweet girls, I just... Ah, I love them. I love mm. them too. They're so cute. Like, I just... Ah, whenever I see those characters, like, sure, um, there are other characters, but ones that are so pure and wholesome, you just want to protect <laughs> them. It's so sweet. Ah, I want to give her a big hug and stroke her hair. She really does look like Milky. Holy shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just very excited about that fact. Anyway, anyway, guys, this has been a blast. Thank you so much for spending time with us reading this awesome manga, Insipid Prince's Furtive Grab. 
for the throne. You mm-hmm. guys, if you liked it, you can go read it uh, for a limited time. It's 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 free to read these first five chapters. And you know what? If you want to know what happens next, like, guess what? You can get the next chapters for literally 86 cents. Yes, like 50% Basically off, free. but mm-hmm. limited time until April 3rd Pacific mm-hmm. time. Yep. And if you use one of me or the Cronsters codes, either code Cali or code Crony, you can get $5 off of your purchase if you're new to Bookwalker. What a... Can you finish it, Crony? What a... Deal! Yes, there we go! <laughs> you guys are all about those deals. So, um, wanted to say thank you again to Kadokawa for letting us read their manga and sponsoring the stream. And today, uh, we read just the beginning of the story, but apparently the story only gets more and more exciting from here. So I strongly recommend you guys check out their ongoing promotion from the link in the description below to continue reading all about the adventures and new characters in this series that are yet to come. And um, there's a, a thrilling race during the hunting festival yes. and an introduction to Arnold's beautiful childhood friend, Elna, and much more. And I want to see that tomboy character. With the, with I, that, I feel like part. Elna is going to be the tomboy character. <gasps> I bet. Oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, yeah. <gasps> That's a good guess. That's a good guess, Cronster. I want to find out. Anyway, this is a cute story. To be honest, my initial idea was that um, this was going to be like a slice of life like very silly uh manga but it mm. ended up being um like one of those really interesting like um like uh political tactics strategic. kingdom fantasy mhm yeah strate- mm. strategic uh sort stra- strategic planning of taking over the throne um stories with great art and beautiful ladies and ikemen dudes so i think it's really interesting and i highly recommend you guys check it out Give it, give it a read. Um, I mm. had a great time voicing these characters. I hope you did too, Cronster. Yeah, your, like your your character voice was so on point, and I can't picture them right. without it now. <laughs> oh, thank you. I hope you continue reading it just with uh, the voice of of old Kleinster and the oh, you're taking. Me. <laughs> me, I'm okay. just gonna, I'm just gonna see him and remember that he doesn't have much to live for. He just doesn't have much time left. Yeah, he doesn't really. have much time left. He's yeah, just... I mean, you guys, you hear that? He doesn't have much time left, so you better read the story now real quick before he's up, up, and away. <laughs> um. Before he ascends. <laughs> yeah, before anyone ascends the throne, I think that the Kleinster is going to be ascending into, into heaven. So I uh, get to read in the manga, you guys. Mm. Um, every character Callie voices <laughs> is close to death. <laughs> and it's, uh, it's fun that way. Um, so yeah, please uh, check out this manga. Check out Bookwalker in general. They've got a lot of great, fun stuff, fun manga that you guys can read and just go on a crazy, nutty adventure. If this if this particular um, story didn't exactly hit your fancy, you know what we also have. Um, this little $5 coupon that you guys can use to get whatever story you would like. Uh, yes. from Bookwalker. So, recommended for you guys to please check it out. There we go. Finally fixed my color. Look at um, all these. Mm-hmm. Lots of great titles. Especially if you guys like high fantasy and adventuring, so. Yeah, an isekai. I, I'm seeing isekai. some things that I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. Like, an isekai, if you like isekai. Isekai. Mm-hmm. What's this? My little sister stole my fiancé. Oh, boy. A boy raised by the gods will be the strongest. Magic of the stone gourmet eating magical power made me the strongest. (laughs) Oh, boy. The lotus eater is drunk and sober. (laughs) My little sister stole my fiancé. I I feel like these would be the kind of things that I would read for isekais. Oh, yeah. I I would probably check out the 31st consort, uh, consort, that one. That looks fun. That looks good. I'm quitting heroing. Okay, what a chad. He's just going out there like, hey, guess what? I'm quitting heroing, idiots. Bye. That looks fun. Yeah, and then he he probably, you know, gets way too OP. And (laughs) yeah, uh, those are are pretty good. The vibes I'm getting. 
Anyway, guys, please do check out the site, and um, you guys can click the link in the description if you'd like some more of Insipid Prints and more selections. We'll catch you guys again real soon. Crony, have any announcements or streams that you'd like to promo? What's the next thing you're doing? Um, tomorrow I'll be playing Minecraft with Muna. Nice, heck yeah. yeah. Have a blast, you guys. Thanks, and you have fun with Milky. Yes, yes, yes. Karaoke mm. with Milky. Yatta! And then we'll see if we can have um, a little celebration tonight. I'd like to finish up my super chat reading, so on my stream, uh, I will come home probably a bit late and just do uh, a little chatting session with you guys. Who knows, we might hit 2 million. Not totally certain, but uh, we will be celebrating at that time, so please come hang out. Uh, so yeah, with that being said, I'm your Mori. Hope you'll remember me. Uh, it's Calliope Mori and Karoni signing off for today. Thank you again, Kadokawa, for the sponsored stream. Yes. And we'll catch you guys on the flip side. Bye bye. Bye, everyone. Have a good one. Breeze. Oh, yeah, oh. oh breeze. Good boy. Breeze. Oh. So thank you everyone for coming by to watch the stream and see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Koyasumi.